Hey, hi friends, Scott Brookins here. Hope you're doing well today. I just uh, had a message that God put on my heart a couple days ago that uh, I wanted to share, and this is a good time to share it. You know, we're, we're still going through this um, virus uh, challenge and crisis around the world, and also this is Easter week here. And so um, I want to read some of one of the Psalms in the Bible, Psalm 91. And uh, many people reference uh, this psalm, the complete one, as a, a, a psalm of hope. And, you know, we need hope in our lives today, not only worldwide or as a nation or as a community, but as a family and as individuals. And so this psalm in 91, and I'm reading out of the older NIV version, um, I'm just going to pick out some verses because later I want to focus on some of the ending verses of this. But... This is a great psalm to turn to, um, maybe during this, this time. Um, and so some of the verses, 91, Psalm 91, verse 1 says, He who dwells in the sh shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. <clears throat> verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And so I want to encourage you to trust in God. Know that He is with us and He is he is working in the, around the world um, in people's lives. And, um, but I'm going to turn to towards the end of this psalm, starting in verse 14. It's the last three verses of this psalm. And uh, I'm going to read the version I have. You know, it's in the mail, so it's he and him. Uh, some of the newer translations would, would have people or those. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It, God means he and she. It does you know, it's all human beings. And so I'm going to read uh, Psalm 91, verse 14 through 16, and then I'm going to share a little bit about it. But verse 14, it says, Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And so what I'd like to challenge you to do is find a Bible, pick up your Bible. Maybe you haven't read it in a long time. Maybe you don't know where one is. If you don't have one, just go on the internet, bible.com, and you can download a, a Bible to uh, any device and look for Psalm 91. It's right in the middle of the book. And turn to verse 14. And so I want to read this again, but I want you to think of you that God is talking about. And so if you're a woman, you know, it's she, right? She will call upon me and I will answer her, right? And so verse 16 says, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And so the long life that, you know, this is talking about is eternal life that we can have through God's Son, Jesus Christ. And so I just want to share with you, maybe you don't know if you have that eternal life or that satisfied long life that God promises. Well, you can have that right now. You know, God, and especially this is Easter week, this is where we celebrate that God himself, Jesus Christ, took the sins of you and me upon himself, the sins of the world, and he died for those sins when he didn't have to. He lived a perfect life. And then he rose again, he conquered death, and he promises us that we can have eternal life if we give our lives to him. And so many times in my travels, you know, I meet people that say, I've done too many horrible things that God would never forgive me. And I, I just reassure you and them that I talk to that God, God doesn't, doesn't care because he died for our sins no matter what it was. So whether you've, you know, been, felt you've done a pretty good life, you know, but you've, We've all still sinned, right? We've all still maybe you know lied or cheated or stolen something, even something small, uh, or whether it was you robbed a bank or, or you know, uh, probably most of us haven't killed anybody. But if you have, God will still forgive you. But if we have hatred in our heart, Jesus tells us, then we have killed them in our heart. So it's the same thing. Or maybe we've had a, an adulterous lifestyle where we've slept around and we weren't married, or maybe we've had affairs and. Whatever the case may be, Jesus died for those sins and the ones that I've committed to. And he conquered that. He rose again. He's alive. 
And so even in the midst of this crisis, whether you're a believer or not, God is with us. God is all around us. And if you are a believer, then you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, right, to comfort you and to guide you and, and protect you. And if you're not a believer yet, then God is still there. He's still surrounding you and guiding you in your footsteps and calling you to come to him. And so, you know, you can make that decision right now. You can just reach out and say, Jesus, I don't know what's going on, but I, I, I want to believe. And it's like being at the edge of a swimming pool, right? You just got to take the step off the edge and believe that there's water there that's going to get you. And so you can just say, Jesus, I believe that you are the son of God and that you died for my sins. And I want to know you. I want, I want peace in my life. I want eternal life that you promise it throughout your, your word of the Bible. And Lord, I, I, just, I just repent of my sins. All the ones I've done or I don't even remember that I do, I, I want to turn away from that and that lifestyle and whatever the case may be. And I want to turn to you and serve you the rest of my life. And please come into my life and give me that salvation that your word promises. And I tell you, if you've done that or do that when you watch this or share this with someone that you know needs to hear this message, then this Easter celebration is going to do be a, a total different celebration for you. And I encourage you to find a, a local church. You know, you can't go physically to the churches, but most churches are having online services. Or if not, you know, send me a message or I'll give you several, you know, suggestions. But if you've done that or, or you have that relationship, then I want us to go back to Psalm 91, verse 14. And I want us to look at whenever the Bible says in this verse, he or she or people or those, I want you to put in your name. Because God is speaking to you whatever your name is, whoever's listening to this, wherever you're at, he's speaking to you personally. And so to give you an example, in verse 14, it says, because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. Okay, so what I would do to read this, I would say, because Scott loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue Scott. And I'll go on using my name, but I want you to plug in your name. So verse 14, Psalm 91, verse 14 because Scott loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue Scott and put in your name, whatever that is. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him or her or whatever your name is. And verse 16, with long life will I satisfy him, her, Scott, Susie, whoever. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So I just want to encourage you today to look for Jesus, for that long life of salvation, to, to give you the peace that we need right now during this crazy time that's never happened in our world, at least in our lifetime. And, and you can have that peace through Jesus Christ. And so I, I just pray that you'll You'll think about this. Find a Bible. Go to Bible.com if you don't have one again. Psalm 91, verse 14 through 16. And then if I can help you in any way, just send me a message and we can have a short conversation or, you know, whatever I can help you with. And so I just pray that you make it a great day. Share and like this um, with people that need to hear this message. And go impact somebody's life. You know, tell them you're praying for them or give them this verse and, and tell them that God is going to speak to you through these verses because that's what happens through God's word. It's alive and it'll speak to us. And so I hope this helps and it helps to remind me that God has a personal relationship with me. I have a personal relationship with him and he wants that for you and everyone in the world. So go make it a great day. Go impact somebody's life and encourage them and um, make this Easter a huge different celebration that you've never had before because now you have that relationship with Jesus Christ. God bless you. Amen.